before the video starts, you don't really have to know anything about 3D animations, you can just enjoy the video and learn how snow is made uh, with computers. Hey, today I'm gonna show you how to use the molecular add on in Blender to create some snow. Let's go! So, we're in Blender right now. This time we need the default cube. Let's just press G and C to get it further up. Then add a plane, make it a bit bigger. Now the important part, get some particles into the system. Let's select the cube, go into the particle system and add a particle system. In this one, we need to change a lot of stuff, like the source. Let's go to volume and grid. So all those particles will generate in a grid, as you can see here. And obviously volume, so it's inside of that thing. But we don't want them to just start simulating we want them all at the same time so let's just do one one right there and there we go we got a lot of particles i use a resolution of 50 this oh that's too much that's not 50 that's 580 yeah hopefully oh okay we are good um so we wanted 50 let's go down to the render view and open it up and the viewport Let's just press 5 on the numpad and then 3 on the numpad so we can see our cube from the side and with the auto graphic view. And what we added, let's just turn off the cube by going to this orange thingy, to the object properties, go on the viewport display and tell it to go to wire right there. So now we can see all those particles. But the viewport is wrong right now, it's in random. We, want, we don't want that right now. We want it into circles so we can see how big the particles actually are which will interact with each other and as we can see it's pretty big so let's just lower its size till they don't intersect each other so in this case it's 0.2 we can copy this value and go to the render scale and put it in there but delete the m for the meters because it somehow doesn't like it now we got the particles now we just need to activate the molecular script um, activate self collision and activate particle linking. In here, we need a search length of 3.5, which means it's taking the radius and searching for other particles. So, a search radius of 1 is the middle point and obviously the radius. A search value of 2 is going into another particle, and a search value of 3.5 goes a bit further. And that's supposedly the perfect value. Someone figured it out. Why not use it? We can kind of ignore most variables right here, except it's broken. We just need to get this one down to 0.17, I think. 0.17, depending on what you want. You can just experiment with all those values to figure out what you really like. And depending on the value, it might look a bit more dry, a bit more wet. Now let's go down to the new linking, which means if particles broke apart and get close to each other, they might join together and there's a percentage of that linking. I just, you know, just go up to this number, I don't really care. And obviously just blow the broken value again to some value you're fine with. In my case it's 1.4, at uh, 0.14. Then go to the sub steps, set it to 24, which means it just means it's just gonna simulate a lot more um, subframes between one frame. In this case, we kind of want a lot because snow is kind of hard. It's like breaking apart instead of like being a liquid, just kind of being globby. And now just so you understand what it actually does. Every frame that's rendered, which means there is force acted out on that little particle. So if there are more um, substeps within a frame, Ah, I'm not gonna really talk about it. It's just, it just means it simulates more forces within a certain time value. So the higher the value, the more forces are um, acted out on a particle within a time frame. Which means if the particles are right here, it goes over there, but if there's zero subsets, it's just gonna um, simulate a breaking force of, I don't know, let's say five ones. But if there are 24 um, subframes within this one frame, it'll act out those, I don't know, 5% of stopping 24 times out on this particle. How that makes sense. It's a bit complicated. Just know that this value right now is perfect, because now it's kind of stiff, but you can make it out breaking power. Fast, but it's kind of crumbly and dry snow. Now we have to tell the particles to live a little longer. In this case, our animation is 250 frames. And we need to change, well, we don't really need to change the color of the viewport display right in here. I like to have it to be velocity so we can see what's going on and set this to, I don't know, three or something like that. Now, right now, it's kind of lame because it's just going to crash into the ground. So let's add another cube. Make it some size. 
just size it in some way put it somewhere over there so the cube interacts with it let's tell it to collide with the particles add some stickiness add a lot of dampening and friction do the same to the plane some stickiness maybe maybe just 0.5 maybe choose a little too much some dampening and friction let me just lower this dampening right there and let's simulate it and wait and while it's simulating what you're doing right now well how about watch some more tutorials of mine and subscribe to my channel and like the video because it might get really crazy soon but um let's wait for the render to finish but before we actually simulate let's lower this value to 18. let's go So, I think that's enough. Let's just try to stop the simulation. Yeah. Give it a second. Oh, shit. Hello there. Oh, no. Yeah, that looks like it's about to die right now. <gasps> oh, my God. It caught itself, I think. Bruh. Oh my god, it just deleted it. Okay, I really don't want to sit here for another half an hour. How long am I recording for? 45 minutes. So, <clears throat> well, let's pretend it worked out. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't. So, theoretically, if you're done and the simulation actually saved, not like this one right now, we just need to... Sh my, my phone. You just need to press Shift-A to add a meta ball. Where is a meta ball? Meta ball. And a ball. There we go. Now we got a meta ball. Let me just hide it by... Put it under the plane. Select the particle system again, go all the way up, go to the render tab, tell it to not render a halo, and then just tell it to use the meta ball, and then choose the, view, the viewport display to, uh, to use the rendered thing. And there we go, we got our meta balls. Now, right now it looks pretty bad. So let's go back to the meta balls and increase the resolution by lowering this value let me just copy the render value right now to the viewport resolution and looks pretty bad so let me just add a zero in front of the two yep yep kind of looks right let's just keep the influence at six press n on a meta ball and then just increase the scale by I don't know, something. I don't know, let's just make it 1.2. Mm, yeah, there we go. I'd say that's fine. Uh, don't play back, because that'll kill your computer almost. Um, okay. Let's go to the Zyklos render. I think now it's pretty easy what we're going to do. We're going to add some snow shader. Let's go to the shader editor. Let's go to the meta ball, add a material, make it white, completely white. There we go. Add some subsurface and make the subsurface blue. Yeah, that's wrong. So let me just make all one. So the subsurface radius is just red, green, blue. So let's just select the top two, which is red. And green I think and lower it to 0.1 and there we go it's blue now there we go uh, obviously that's a bit too dark so we need a bit more um, green let's just go to 4 0.8 there we go and increase uh, the red value too a bit not a lot point I don't know six 
Yeah, that's kind of snow. Let me just make uh, this one invisible, even for the run ring, right in here. There we go. That's pretty much just the snow. We can add some or lower the roughness, so it's way more reflective. But that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, I don't know. So if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And comment down below why you didn't like it or why you did like it. And if you loved it, this up to my channel. And ring the bell to never miss an upload of mine. Bye. <sighs> and save for all your projects. Especially with the molecular add-on. Always. Every five minutes. Bye.